Good afternoon, this is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about adding uh, the product into our shopping cart. So, uh, I want to talk about the model we, I, of the shopping cart first. As before, like uh, when we add a product, we have a product.js, which is uh, a product model inside. And uh, here for the shopping cart, we will do the similar thing, which gonna have uh, another file called the cart.js, which is our model. And uh, the, so what's gonna be stored in the shopping cart? Uh, so far, in uh, before we're talking about the MongoDB, uh, the shopping cart we think only works for only one user, okay. So here, our uh, our cart item, gonna, our shopping cart gonna be look like this, okay? The car, the shopping cart is a single shopping cart, okay? Gonna contain, it's an object. And the first one is a product, okay? So in the product is an array. So each of them, it will, in, it will, it will have a product. One, product two, we purchase, and product three. And the second element is the total price, okay? So we can calculate the total price, which has a number. Excuse me. And for the product, pro because when we purchase an item, we can purchase the quantity, right? So besides, the everything here is identical as the product model, we will also have a quantity fields added on this product okay so that's our shopping cart uh, we only work on um, so far we only work for particular user okay we don't go for uh, for multiple users for the shopping cart so far so let's take a look at our example and the first thing we can do is uh, uh, let's go back go to our Mm. index.ejs which is a home page on the home page what we can do is here we add another form which is called a view to car, uh, add to shopping cart okay add to cart okay and here we just we don't know it's another functionality for the admin so it's a functionality for all users so we are using the art to cart okay and uh, here we suppose on here we will add this router okay for that it's not for admin and we still have to get the product id in order to get the entire product and it's a post and we are done here so next step is we add to product okay add this router in our shop js and here we were using router dot post Okay, because add to cart is a um, functionality which gonna change it on our server side, right? So we are using post. Yeah, sorry. Add to cart, and in our shop controller, we will actually to add to our cart. Okay, so in our controller, we export dot add to cart this. Okay. And here we will ask have request response uh, next. Excuse me. And then let me go back to complete this part, which is using shop controller dot add to cart. Okay, and finish. Okay. So in the shop.js, what we're gonna do is um, First, we have to get the product based on the uh, added product, based on the product ID, and we can use this method, find by ID. Uh, actually, it's better the find by ID here, just to return a single element, you give, an, you give like a zero here. 
okay but since we are doing here otherwise i have to change every place here so here find by id here we are using request dot body dot id right which is uh, because uh, here in our index yes which is using a form so this information will be in the body so we're using uh, find by id request dot body dot id right and then we give zero then it's gonna return the actual product for us right the id the product okay so now the thing is uh, we have to define our model like we did before for the product like when we save the product we have to add to the shopping cart okay let's define a model mm, new file called uh, uh, cart.js file and here we will have a cart equals anything you want here actually because this part is initialized and we actually don't uh, store multiple shopping cart otherwise we also have to give an id for a particular user right so we just go very simple solution so now okay we will refactor when we get more and more familiar with that okay so here we will export uh sorry module.exports equals class uh, which is a cart okay and here we will have a, a functionality which is uh, add to cart okay so here to add to cart we can do yes this one is a product id we have to give a product in order to add inside so here let's using const Oh, oh, oh this one is already product okay so we're using cart like, like cart dot sorry uh, like kind cart dot add to product because i didn't require let's require first require uh, models um, cart tired after lunch cart dot add to cart okay okay this one then we uh, we can also using save as we did before any minimum you want to add it product then it will add successfully that's the thing we are trying to do so here let's go to our uh, color.js and we define a uh, static uh, add we call what what to do we call we call save okay and here we have a product okay which is the thing we're trying to add uh, So here we have to do something, which is uh, first we check if this card is empty or not empty, right? So when we initialize, let, let's just give a noun here, okay? And which means uh, if currently the mm, uh, mm, what uh, we can give an array if we give an array then we have to push the item inside right and anyway okay anyway so let's give an array here doesn't it matter because we're gonna redo uh if this card hey, let's give now i'm so okay if card is equal now If card, this one means the card is not now, right? And uh, else, okay. This one, this means uh, card is being added, is uh, not now, okay? And uh, we will do this one first, which means when the card is now, then we have to initialize first, okay? Card will equals as the as the pattern we designed here. Okay, uh, the documents 
all the JSON formats, we will have a products, okay, which contains all the products, and we have a total price, which is zero. Oh, you're sorry. Zero. This is how we start for our shopping cart. Let's make it PP capital, okay? And then next thing is uh, since it's empty, I initialize that, right? Then I have to add this product inside here. Is it correct? Okay. So how to do that now? How to do that now? I just using uh using cart dot uh products. Oh, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. The other thing is. Uh, uh, remember here each element each element of the product we have to add the quantity okay we have to change the quantity right so we will add the product dot con q quantity okay equals one then we do yes uh, uh, what's the uh, card dot products dot push right push this product inside okay so this case is pretty simple which is when it's the first time we add this uh, we add a thing into a shopping cart and it's gonna be look like this way okay so let me add this another thing which is a get okay get we can have a get a cart okay and return this card after we swan down we can do yes oh oh we've got another thing okay uh cart dot total price equals we can using product dot price okay so this is the first one we is a this case is when we first time add item into the shopping cart okay so let's call this method to see if it actually works okay get a cart okay and what we're gonna do is um, here after save we're using console dot log cart dot get cart dot get cart okay and then we are yes dot end so we don't add any ui now we, first we just say uh, saved successfully okay so we can separate this functionality in different videos okay so now let's go here and add a product and the title not a js price 12 and image ui description submit i have a button add to add to cart here and let, so let's see here okay then let's go and uh, click add to cart okay so here assigned to constant variable oh okay okay you got the idea right here here is a reassign so here let's use in let and we have to go back to test again and uh, here and add to cut and the save successfully now we we'll go back and check if everything works as we expected okay see the structure this is our shopping cart is an object and which have products it's gonna contains an array which have this product right and id everything and a quantity and total price this one seems uh, correct as we expected so now the problem is now if i go back and click the other two card again then it need to handle by another case which is here right because our shopping cart is not empty anymore right so we have to here yes if it's not empty then we have to do yes uh, first we have to get these um, uh, products and loop this array to see if we can try to find the a uh, product is is uh, added or not right it's already existing or not existing right 
So here, what we're gonna do is uh, first uh, we can go yes cart dot products dot this products is an array. So we are going inside to an array, and uh, this array will contains all the product. Okay, cart dot product dot find index. Okay, um, index. And here it's gonna contain each of the product, and we'll check if this uh, uh, what's thing, if this product exists. Okay, PID equals equals product. Okay, product dot ID. Uh, this step is uh, trying is to check a product is uh, existing in cart or not because if it's already existing in the shopping cart we just change the quantity to be two uh, plus one right and if not then we just push in another one right so here uh, what is the okay const up, uh, existing product index okay so if it exists if it exists which is uh, I think uh, yeah I couldn't remember what's gonna return okay so I guess okay in Java it's gonna return the minus one in Java, but I don't remember this one. Okay, let's let's call this one. Okay, and uh, if it's greater than zero, which means uh, uh, which means uh, exist, exist. Okay, exist in a cart already, and otherwise that doesn't exist. If it doesn't exist, we just push the item inside, right, inside this uh, uh, product, this array, this array, and also change the quantity, right? And also we need to modify the total price to add the existing one, right? So what we're gonna do is we do this step, okay? Uh, not exist. So what we're gonna do is if it's not exist, we're just using a product dot quantity. By default, the first one gonna be the one, okay? And then we're gonna do is a cart dot product, okay? Products dot push current product, okay? And then we're gonna using cart dot total price, okay? Uh, my equals, okay? Product dot price. Do you get this one? Do you get this one? Okay, but uh, okay. Here we have something which is uh, similar. This part and this part is the same. We can refactor later. Okay. And the next uh, we implement uh, this one. We implement this one, which is uh, if the cart item, uh, if the is already exist in the shopping cart. So we're gonna do is we have to get that product, right? To get this product, which is const existing product, okay, equals cart dot products dot uh, using this index, right? So we can get the product using this one, right? Then what we need to do is just change the quantity, right? Which is the cart dot Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Existing uh, product dot con quantity equals one, which is increase one. Then we also need to change the price, which is the card dot uh, uh, total price minus equals product dot price. Okay, 
this is what we have so far. We can refactor this. Okay, don't worry. We have some code which is existing in all of them. We just make sure everything seems correct so far in our shopping cart. So now it's restarted and let's go back to our browser and uh, we add three products. Then we add in, click the add to shopping cart to see if it's uh, behave correctly. Okay. It's using 10 and Q. Okay. Add another one and which is the angular. Uh, 20 okay image URL Q okay and uh, eh, we have two angular why do that why we have two angular did that add two angular I uh, only add the one right mm, weird now let, let's edit it okay call react react 30 okay it and then go to home and we have three okay I don't know what happened okay I don't want to go through again okay so now first uh, when I click add two cart now let's take a look at this one okay. I will expect uh, the half half you know half of the ID half of the browser okay add two cart Save successfully, go to our ID and which is correct, right? The shopping cart, sorry, the shopping cart, the shopping cart contains one product, uh, the shopping cart contains product central price and in the product is an array. So let's click another one. Go back and click add to cart. We should see, okay. We should see. Oh, seems correct. Okay, but the price total price is not correct. The total price should be convert into a number then change. Okay. Um. Okay. So I think this thing happened in our price when we go to save. Go to save the price. So what we can do is here. Mm. Uh, how can we change? Yes, this is the correct one. Okay, let's let's do one more time. Okay. Um, go here and add a two, add a two product and the price 30 image url i oh, I'm, i have a copy here okay one add the product let's go back only one right why it has two just now uh no 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 no, no the data js okay price 30 image url is this one kitty and two okay add the product uh, angular Price is 11, 11. Let's give her the 20. Okay, image you are same and QQ submit. Okay, I will have three. So let's go and see. Okay, good. And add one. Okay, save successfully. It should be correct and add two. Okay, let's go and see. Mm. Okay, this is number 13. Okay, which is a product react 30 and now the price is the 30 and now total price can add successfully. Got it? The only change I made is inside the product. I changed this one to be a number because when it's a string, they just concat concatenate the string, right? We have to make sure these operations here. Okay, so where it is? Okay, these operations here work. Okay, so two item works. Now let's add another one. Add two cards. And let's go back. Okay, let's see here. Okay, it doesn't exist in minus one. Okay, the language has something in common, right? So 30, 30, 20, it should be 80. Okay, both all the quantity is one. 
Okay, now the problem is I will add the reactor again. So here we'll change it to B2, and here we'll, we'll add 30, gonna be 100, uh, 110. Then everything gonna be correct, right? So go back, then add the react. Okay, then go and check. Oh, it seems correct, right? So here, the quantity didn't change. The total price changed there, okay? So the thing is the quantity didn't uh, didn't work, okay? Which is uh, this part doesn't work, right? This part works, this part doesn't work. Mm -hmm. This quantity y plus one equals doesn't it change this one. Um, Conti and then uh, cast uh, existing uh, QTY existing Q QTY equals okay. This one, okay. I'm gonna then existing QTY equals this one plus one okay and then let's see okay if it works the only the only thing that doesn't work is this part doesn't work right so we have to do again which is uh, i just add one product okay add one product react price 13 image url and the pq one one okay add one it should work okay so add one it should work okay it should work like this right and then let's add again add again and go here check oh hey my reactor has uh, two number now okay let's take a look at okay hey here I have two okay ID and ID which it didn't find. Okay, let's take a look at. Uh, zero. Okay. Ah, mm. ah. Uh, uh, we have to push back. Okay. So here we get the existing product, right? What we can do is uh, this is the existing product, this one, and uh, we have to do yes, uh, we have to do probably we have to push it back. Okay. Okay, let's do this one. Card dot products dot this existing product index. I will replace by this change the one. Okay, and uh, let's take a look at. Okay, let's do one more time. And uh, add a product. React price thirty image URL description. Submit, then we click add shopping cart, it should be correct, okay, shopping cart correct, and go back and add again, and we go and see, hmm, uh, still not working, ah, 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 the condition, you know, the condition, okay, not this one, okay, the condition, the condition is uh, zero, I should have using grid equals zero, okay? <laughs> the condition because it's always going to here, so it's always adding new one, it's not updating, it didn't go through this one. That's why I think why it's not. Okay, so uh, let's just count using the previous one, okay? I, I think this part should work, the previous version, plus equals one, okay? 
okay the condition because it returns zero when we're using greater it's always go here okay uh, it makes sense now okay so let's do last one okay add the product this is why we need a database because otherwise we have to keep doing those th steps okay when we do a testing add the for shopping cart and uh, so far correct okay add it to cart again so far okay good see here products now i change to be two okay got it because uh, because this equal sign okay i forgot to change the this one okay and this one is uh, working okay oh previously we think it doesn't work right so let's add uh, another two and uh, see okay if it works okay uh, we're using angular price uh, third uh, price 20 and the image uil qq okay and then we add another one which is the react because i it refreshed you know qq and then add one more which is a node js 10 okay uh image uil this one and the 10 okay uh, qq okay and let's add to cart okay and add to cart and add to cart okay so you should have three item in the cart which is this one okay three item cart product uh three product right uh, angular react and the node js right so let's all add them again add angular again add react again Okay, let's go and uh, we see the angular is changed to be two and the react is changed to be two and node js still one. So the price calculation 20 is 40, 40 plus 60 because you need to multiply these two, right? 60 is 100 and 101. So in this uh, in this example, we first make all the uh, the scenario other shopping cart works. Uh, I'm gonna stop here because uh, uh, it's otherwise the video gonna be very long. So next video we will refactor here a little bit. So because we have lots of duplicate code. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. See you later. Bye bye.